Hey everybody, it's your YouTube guru, Teddy P. Gray. Alright, today is the last day that you guys gotta see my stinking face. <laughs> and last day that I'm gonna be recording for a while. I'll probably I may take like one recording like once a week. I don't know, but I only have a month left, pretty much, so for school, so I think I'm gonna dive head first into that. And I'll let you guys in a month or so we'll see what happens because I'll start working out and they're gonna make workout videos too. But anyhow, last day of the fast, day seven fasting. You'll like to say, and you probably wonder what I'm doing on the side here. I'm actually stirring my fish. I'm gonna let you see in a minute. So day seven of my fast, day three of after fast. So here we have, here we have, um, this is my fist is actually look is balling because it's actually balling. It's not looking like it's balling, it actually is balling. So I had it frozen since last week. I went to the uh my local uh store or whatever and they had fish that I had already started uh, my first day of fasting that actual day. So that was actually literally a week. No, that's Thursday was my second day. So I had to purchase it because I knew I wanted it for later, but couldn't eat it right then. So I froze it along with some rice that I have in this bag over here. So that's still frozen actually. This was frozen. That's why all that water in there. Cause what I did was I put the frozen fish inside the frying pan and I let it turn the heat all the way up. And then it's got kind of like, you know, it starts sticky, stickity type thing. You know what happens when you uh, fry stuff. It's no grease or anything. So, I did that purposely so that I can have um, have the uh, stickiness on it. So when I put the water, the water can uh, like, you know, that or whatever you call it, steam up or whatever. And help the uh, steam uh, go around the fish. And after that, uh, I pretty much uh, turned down the heat once it had got hot. And um, once it started like getting the balling status and that lets uh, pretty much chill and then it uh, balled out but the um, inside of the fish still was kind of cold that's the thing about like the outside may look great but the inside is frozen it was only until the fish started to break up that I realized that's why like because before it was two whole pieces if you can see like this piece here is still whole it's not frozen but I wanted to keep it whole but the other other piece was also whole. So, I don't know what that was. But uh, anyhow, once it broke up, I realized it wasn't frozen anymore. So, but I had the water in there. So I just let it like kind of simmer on down or whatever. And then I, I messed around and let it get too low. So I put some more water in there or whatever. Um, and other than that, I um, stopped by the store today I actually went to, I mean, I was to the uh, food court today. I actually went earlier and had me some sushi, had me some salmon at school. And uh, I had uh, some, <laughs> I had some vegetables with my salmon. So this is similar to the same, this is pretty much the same thing I had yesterday that you guys remember me eating on day six, uh, day two after fast. So this is my, this is my salad here, or whatever. So I can't really see, you know, how this goes, guys. Oh no, look at the car in there. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna put the the fish on top of the salad, or whatever, and that's gonna be my meal for the day. And it's the same thing as yesterday, pretty much. Um, I don't know why I didn't do this before. I got the flap open. I don't need the flap open. I'm going to have, uh, and I got my forks. You see, I didn't forget forks. I actually got one, two, three, four forks. Make sure I didn't forget. So I got guac, uh, the green peppers. This lady kept forgetting my green peppers. Almost if she did not want to give me green peppers and guacamole. So I kept asking for it. Um, cucumbers, olives, spinach, uh, of course, the salad, the lettuce is always at the bottom. That's one thing that nobody messes up. Um, the tomatoes, my onions, and lemon peppers. 
And yesterday, oh, yesterday, that thing was hot. Remember when I ate? I was like, it's so good. Um, what I did not realize is that I hadn't mixed it good enough and all of the jalapenos at the bottom. So when I mixed it after I, I finished recording and I got a taste of it, those things was hot. And not only that, I put extra salt and pepper on it. And then the pepper cap was open, this crap here. Like, okay, this flaps open, right? No, they didn't do it like that. Whoever used it last actually unscrewed it. So I unscrewed it. I didn't even unscrew it, I just took it off because it was like open, so I just boop, and I pulled it in there like that. So that was even worse. That was even worse, guys, so. Today I am, I had them put salt and pepper, but they really are like kind of, I don't know, sketchy about putting stuff on. I don't know what to call it, but they don't really go ham on your food like you want them to. So, anyhow, I still drinking my juice. I, I I got a lot left because when um I told you I made it, I had this big thing. I had the blender full and I had the bowl full. I I I've drunk in the bowl and the blender full and I still got that much left to go. Now this here is just from the day, just from the day by itself. So probably end up with that much by the night and tomorrow I probably could kill the rest of that so and then I'll make another batch because I still have a lot of fruit left but anyway this is drying up see what I'm saying so since it's drying up and I didn't know I cut that back up well, see, this is like perfect you know no yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off and I'm gonna have it like choppy anyway I just wanted to cook whole like that so that sushi, the sushi was good. That was actually not my first meat because I had me uh, one of my eggs. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. I may I have the fish, I don't know. See, my eggs, I still have a lot of them left. So I had one of my eggs today and that was my first like not veggie thing. And then I had the sushi today, the uh, salmon with the, the green vegetables. So it's like, um, Green beans with um, red, yellow, red, red and yellow um, bell peppers. Red, yellow, orange bell peppers. So that was good too. Well, anyway, this is gonna be very, very hard, guys. And I don't think you really care about seeing me eat. So, well, you probably do want to see if it tastes good. Enough. It's already eight minutes and I'm hungry. I got so much work to do. I'm getting all type of messages from my email from my professor. I'm gonna put a little bit, I let this dry out, so I'm gonna put just a little pinch of water in there. So it can go ahead and simmer on out. Oh, that was too much of a boop. And see that little simmer thing? That's what I like. So I didn't do enough on it. Just a little bit. That should be perfect. Should be perfect right there. And that's kind of soupy here. So as it's simmer, I was going to keep the uh, fish fresh. So I'm not worried about it. And uh, that's pretty it. That's pretty much it, guys. Oh, and yesterday, I forgot to tell you. I really wanted to tell you. But I was like, what do I supposed to say on this thing? I had went on ahead and bought me a scale, right? And now this is the other thing I want to tell you. Fan. My fan up there. The string came off. The string came off. This is the string. If you can see it, you're going to be able to see it better in a minute. This is the light. So... I have to turn the light on that way because I can't cut off the fan because the string popped. And I don't know, I just put it like I always did and it came off. I know I'm not getting that strong, but anyhow, if you guys know how to put these strings back on ceiling fans, please tell me. Oh, and I'm showing you my room. The room's supposed to be short yet, but you can see how I kind of flipped it so far. And I bought, me, bought myself a scale and I'm 130 at this point. I'm 130. Cut that off, I don't want you to see anymore. And so you you guys really have watched me kind of like progress because you get you see a little bit of my room. That's the same room you seen in the first video. 
in this 10 minutes. So, boom. We're gonna close this video out now. I know you guys don't want to hear Teddy P. Great talk on the dog one time. And see, this is kind of soupy. I'm going to move it around. It's, it's look like it's going to remain soupy because it's not that, not that hot. So I'm turning it on high. As soon as it's kind of like ball, I'm going to go. I'm going to drop that into there. And we're going to see what, what's going to happen, you know. So, yeah, it's going to be my dinner for the day. I'll let you guys know on a little, well, it's going to be good because I'm not going to put up. I, I made sure they went really little on the jalapenos. You might see one or two jalapenos now. There go two. They're gonna guac. There go some more. So yeah, that's that's basically what's going on with me right now. This is about to ball out again. <laughs> but this time I'm not gonna let it like get low. And uh that's pretty much it. I'm ready to eat, I'm ready to get my grub on. So that'll be two meals today for me. Two healthy meals that I haven't really had any meals. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it goes to light and sucks. Oh, there we go. So I really haven't had too many healthy meals. Um, two meals um, in a while, and those was actually two healthy meals. So I feel great. I feel great or whatever. So yeah, it's not really much more for me to say or tell you. Just, you know how it always goes. So this is it. I, I completed my fast. I did what I got to do. So right now, after the day, I can actually get into solid foods, guys. And these blogs will be different from this point on. I, I'll be doing different things. So I know I always come up. I close it and it opens back up. I like it. Like, you know how. I, anyhow. <laughs> oh, my arms are getting tired holding up like that. And it's actually better light. Should have been there. It's, anyway. If you guys have any uh, suggestions, comments, anything you can help me with, as far as getting in shape, as far as healthy food, see you, anything that you might think Teddy P. Gray could like, any suggestions, channels, I don't care what it is. Just uh, shoot it in my comments, and I'll, I'll make sure I get back to you. Oh, yeah, and uh, another thing. Uh, uh, listen, I appreciate, I understand that we're, uh, YouTubers and we're trying to um, come out there um, and we're trying to get good with everything. See, it's getting low right now, guys. We'll cut it off so I don't avoid the same, I can avoid the same mistake from last time. I'm not kind of like, oh, I was talking, I can just stop talking. Uh oh, I'm cleaning that up. So, anyhow, um, I understand that we're all YouTubers and well, I don't know, we're all YouTubers. People just like to watch YouTube channels. Some might be singers, but whatever. The ones who are YouTubers or whatever, I understand you're trying to promote yourself. Stand, you're trying to get out there. But uh, I honestly, I do not like those uh, inboxes where people are like, "Hey, can you check out my channel?" Blah 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 blah. Be and, uh, can you subscribe to me? Blah 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 blah. I I've been on YouTube for seven years okay seven years as a channel i've been watching youtube literally since the beginning like i said i used to watch music videos but even before i got a channel i still had already started watching other youtubers so i give myself at least eight years of knowing youtube therefore i i already have my peoples like if you're good you're good i will find you your, your, your credits will get up there. Now, a couple of people have done it, and I have checked out the channel, and I have subscribed because there are, like, they have potential. But, um, honestly, right now, if you're just trying to make money, like, your content is just about, like, obviously, you're trying to be part of that crowd that, uh, oh, God, I... So, I'm so sorry I recorded it this way, and it's kind of like too late to turn it this way, or is it? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna finish it off this way. If I mess it up. I'm sorry, guys. If it's, it's not the, a good way to do it, it's too late. But uh, if your channel is like about, I have a channel just to have a channel, just so I can be a YouTube famous person. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not going to 
I'm not going to subscribe to your channel. I'm not going to subscribe to your channel. If you're out there and you're making videos and you're like, hey, look at my video. I think you'll like it. I'm pretty cool. And I look at it and it's like you actually like, I don't know. But don't inbox me. Don't, you can comment like Eva's, they always spam. You can spam me, but I'm not, I don't have traffic, so that'd be stupid. But if you come to me personally, I'm not probably going to do it. Um, what you can do is promote your stuff. You have a hundred different social network, uh, for three off back. It's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Okay, and now they have Snapchat. Use those things to promote your videos. And then YouTube itself, you can promote your videos. So, do it. When you're on your videos, at the end of the video, be like, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know? And people, if they like your video, they're going to go to your video. But honestly, from my experience, to, to, to spam people, to actually be like, hey, da -da -da, people, people will actually not want to watch your videos just because of that reason. You know what I'm saying? If you're just genuine and you're like, hey, blah, 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 I like your videos. Uh, you want to check mine out? I will do that. And if I like it, I will. I, I, you don't have to ask me to subscribe, but I will. I will. But um, that's, that's it. It's like I wanted to maintain that community. I'm trying to bring back that. Well, I want to be that YouTuber who was grew up in a YouTube environment that actually people was just literally promote themselves and they're written like hey i want to be youtube famous i don't i want to get likes and all. no when i it was people who like i tell you all the time my favorites they were singers so they was putting their videos out there so people could hear their music they want to get recognized as singers not as youtubers not as they don't want to be youtube famous they want to literally be singers like people know they can sing people know they can rap or i didn't get too many rappers or act or announce be like news, like Philo DeFranco or Fredo S. DeFranco, whatever. You've been filled in that guy. Those people were really actually doing things that it was them. Now we got so many people who comes on here, similar to me, but like I said, I've been here. So my thing is, hey, I'm Teddy P. Gray. I want you to watch me progress because what I've learned, that what you keep seeing, so it's my quarter. Um, I've learned like a lot about YouTube and I learned that all this time I could have been making videos so that's why I'm doing it now I, if I get two likes every video or no likes or if the same 14 of you keep watching I don't care that's fine I love it I enjoy it this even for me like you remember one video it was like hey Ted oh that's actually my fork you keep saying is it I don't yeah so remember the, uh, hey Teddy it's really me, like, I can go back and be like, look at myself. Look at where I started. Look what I did. So it's really personal. So therefore, I still, I'm still maintaining the same um, authenticity that um, everyone else who's doing their, uh, whatever their talent may be, videos. You see what I'm saying? So that's basically how life goes, you know. You take care, you be authentic and you put uh, uh, quality content out there. Now this content is not quality, I'm not gonna lie. Right now I'm in school and I, I really have, really have time for school. So yeah, I'm not gonna be uh, going crazy about editing and stuff like that. But if, you, if you're if you really serious about YouTube and you actually have something to say and something to do, go ahead and say and do those things as you record it and then go back and edit it to make it look good. Invest in cameras and quality equipment so that you can you can really look popular But going around and be like hey, 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 buddy. Can you that's not good you create a Facebook page post videos on there Get a Twitter and when people uh, when you have a new video put it up actually when you upload videos I know they always say because I never do Twitter because I, I have a Twitter, but it's really been inactive But I do do um, my Gmail circle or, or whatever G plus or whatever and I, it always give you things to check. Do you want to um, send a message? Yes, send that message and put it on Twitter. You know, you have Snapchat. Snapchat, let people know. You have friends that you talk to. Hey, I just did a video. Can you come check it out? Or just upload it to Instagram. Upload it to Facebook. And if people want to check it out, they will check it out. 
You see what I'm saying? That's all you have to do. But um, going around and uh, bothering people, I'm not going to say bothering, but requesting, that's not only is that kind of like not good, it's also time consuming. That I mean, if you really have that much of time to go to each individual and tell them that stuff, comment on people videos. Comment on people videos and let, let them know like, uh, your video is awesome. You know, like, it's a lot of times when people comment on things, not even my videos. If you comment on my videos, just trust me, I'm going to probably go and check you out. Who is this guy who just commented on my video? So trust me, who is this person? I will go uh, and check you out. But um, now, if I get big, and it's like a, a million comments, a hundred something, or a thousand something comments. No, it's not going to happen. I'm not gonna go check everybody's comment, but if it's some five comments, I'll be like, oh, who is this person who just made this great comment? But for now, no, I, I, I will literally check every person out. So that's what I'm saying. You see a good video, when I'm on other people's videos and I'm watching, and I go to comment and I see like, oh, I don't, I wanna know this now. Let me see if somebody else already commented it or somebody answered the comment I need answer to. If they get a good answer, I'm gonna go check that person out. Or if they get a they comment and I like it, I'm gonna go check that person out. So that's how you really grow your channel or whatever. That, I know I just went on a tangent, but I'm a I'm a I'm a young uh, I'm not old oh, YouTuber. God, I don't know what to say. I haven't really been YouTube active. So when you come to me and ask me to check out your channel, I really feel like oh. Why, like, you're not really, your your channel is not really good if you're 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 coming to me, you know. It's not like uh like uh my life with Eva. Hey, hey Ava, can you check out my channel? Yeah, that's something you want to do, and she she tells you to spam her her comments, so that's fine, because she she would like literally be able to boost your ratings. Like if she says your video is, is awesome. People are is gonna like your your rating is gonna fly, so I can see you doing that. But um, me, I, I like my people. I like Nicole, Mauricio, Nix, whatever. Cause she literally, I have, I have, like if you go to my discussions, they used to you, you literally be on a um if you were using desktop, it would be a page on your, it's all YouTube, but it literally have the comments there, where you can see everybody and it's like a discussion. Uh, and um, Nicole. Uh, baby part, she's not the milk something, milk teeth, uh, I don't really, but still my, um, uh, still my girl, she used to comment, those, um, that bathroom girl, she commented on my page, those, that's the old YouTube thing, so, those are the people who, like, I can, I, I can, I, I accept those comments from, and I mean, like, it, it's disgusting, it's like an inbox, I don't know what to call it, but, um, those are the people who are, like, cool, you know, they, they're old, they're like in there with me. And like right now, they're like, they're gone. They, they're like high, like we don't do that anymore. Like, cause everything has changed. And that's why they probably don't make so much contact themselves because of the fact that um, they probably feel in the um, big change too. Like, oh, oh, it's not the same. It was really personal. Now it's so, it's so, and that's what everything, cause Twitter was like that too. Twitter started off, I only had those people on my Twitter and some celebrities. And that's why I don't do Twitter that much because it's so polluted with everybody out there who's just random stupidness. Like, I just want to be, I just want to use this thing. It's not being used for a purpose. And this is supposed to be me eating. <laughs> and this is supposed to be my day seven fast, I mean, they ate fast, and by day three after fast, and I'm talking about these things again, oh, I'm so sorry, well, <laughs> please don't be that person, please, if you want to be somebody, do it, and if you're awesome, your work will speak for itself, trust me, you will get recognized, you will, I've been here seven years, and I got uh, one video that actually made 236 likes, and I don't know how many view, no, views, and I don't know how many likes. And that's like a um, six or seven year old video. And that's only because I posted it to Barry Parrish's page. And it was as a response video. So, 
I'm still here, okay, and I'm still doing this. So don't be discouraged. Take your time and do what you gotta do to get where you gotta go. But don't don't be one of those people. If you if you if you deal if you mess with Teddy P. Gray, if you deal with me, if you if you watch Teddy P. Gray videos, be don't be that person, please. Be authentic. Actually, be that thing you're portraying. If you if you're in, if you if you're um, doing fitness videos, be fit. Go to the gym every day. Research fitness. Get a get a get a personal training degree. But don't don't pretend. All right, you know I love you guys. I have to eat. I'm hungry now, and my food is just done. It's drying up. See, this is what I didn't want to happen, but I talked too much. It's been 25 minutes, 26 now. So anyway, like always, you know how I say. I, I, I think I did long because it's going to be a while before I see you guys again. So hopefully the next time I see you guys, I'll be in a very, very better place than I am now. And that's the dog outside. I'm about to go cuss him out for barking because he just wants attention because he hears me here. And he smells the food. And he's like, hey, I'm out here too. You better come out here and say something to me. But I'm not going to do it until he shuts up because he thinks he's going to get that attention just because he's barking. And that's why he's going to continue to bark because he gets attention. Can't do that. You got to wait till they stop barking. So they could be like, oh, when I don't bark, that's when he comes. Not when I bark. That's stupid. I'm not going to bark anymore. Anyway, I'm not going to get to dog training 101. That video's supposed to be over, right? Anyway, this is your YouTube guru, Teddy P. Gray. And like always, be peace.